Since the late 1980s, West Lynn has envisioned ways to revive its historic town center. To carry this important work forward, we wanted to make sure the community had ample opportunity to learn about this project and to shape its outcome. The city was committed to public involvement, and we delivered a program to make it happen. This consisted of seven interrelated parts. To begin with, the city appointed two committees to advise on this project. One consisted of representatives from various agencies, and the other consisted of citizen representatives. Both groups met frequently during the process, shaping design objectives and making suggestions. The consultant team spent a full day meeting with members of the community. This gave us a feel for the issues we'd likely encounter, and it identified opportunities that might appear along the way. The third part involved internet and social media. The city hosted a project webpage and kept its Facebook and Twitter feeds active throughout, even during project workshops. An online and paper questionnaire was also developed that drew more than 400 participants. The live feed nature of the effort provided progress reporting and an opportunity for residents to participate whether they were able to attend meetings or not. The city hosted a four-day event in April, taking over a large storefront in Central Village. This storefront studio was open all day and into the evening. It included a project gallery and a working design studio running throughout. In addition, two public workshops were held during that week. At the first one, participants considered different thematic design approaches. At the second, participants helped select a preferred approach and helped prioritize actions. This became the foundation for the plan the city is considering today. The city hosted a pair of walking tours in August. The tours discussed plan recommendations while allowing citizens to see firsthand where those recommendations were being proposed. This helped people grasp what the plan suggests, and they offered comments and refinements in response. Part 6 involves an open house. October 7th is the final open house, and we'll present draft recommendations to the community. Um, ideas and suggestions will be welcomed and can still influence the course of the plan. Everything there, including videos like this one, will be published as part of a virtual open house on the city website. At each milestone, findings and draft concepts were presented to the City Council and Planning Commission. After the October open house and eventual adoption of the plan, residents can track the process as new presentations are made and comment at each of the meetings. As always, process news and documents will be posted on the city's website at westlinoregon.gov.